this video is pretty interesting. At least I thought it was. Anyway, um, comment down below if you like this video. I know it's a year. I almost wasn't going to post this here video here. Uh, just because of... I kept thinking that you guys would not like this here video. Because it's a little kind of different than my usual videos. It's a technology video. And I wanted to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Okay, so let's look at this and see what it is. Um, I think this is my mystery box, but I'm not sure. If you like looking at new tech like I do and cheap tech, but some of this stuff has been on my channel before, back when I used to make videos of technology more and more of uh, like different little gadgets I bought different little uh things that I should make videos of just to find out if they're any good or not and uh yeah so they could say it is a cheap smartwatch that I was trying to figure out how to charge and I really wanted to know how to charge this smartwatch, even though it's more like a dumb watch. It hardly even functions. It hardly does anything. Interesting. It is really interesting that they wouldn't even send instructions on how to charge this stupid watch. Like, seriously? There's no even videos on the internet. It's taking me a few hours just to figure out how to charge the watch because there was no instructions. There was nothing in the booklet. The booklet was pretty much worthless because it didn't show anything. So I was getting to the point that I was ready to take some tools to the watch just to figure out how to charge it. I almost thought this watch was a fake. I thought this watch was such a fake that I thought it just turned on and didn't even really connect to your phone or do anything with the phone itself because uh, it wasn't even pairing to my phone even properly and None of it was functioning the way it was supposed to. Uh, but yeah, I did finally figure out the charging spot and the display was really, the display was so bad that it was just as bad as the display on the watches for our kids. Just like the toy watches for our kids. Yeah, so. Just to see that, it was so disappointing. And I was ready just to throw it in the garbage. Not to even really review it at all. Now I am watching a video to figure out this watch on YouTube. Oh my gosh, really? It's all China made. The Fit Pro is what it's called. So I think I'm gonna modify, like I said, I'm gonna modify that case. And like I said, I also want to the OtterBox. I think it will protect the- I think it will protect the thing if it ever falls on the ground. And it- because the watch does take a lot to scratches and stuff very easily. You might be able to tell, but you might not because the light for us uh, is kind of bad. Um, but yeah, like I say, we are going to modify that case and I don't know- I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to cut 
Like whether I want it to be, maybe I want it to be on the inside, maybe I don't, maybe I do, maybe I don't. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Where do I want to cut on this freaking case? And I actually know the perfect tool. It'll be scissors and maybe something else. Cause yeah, yeah. So if you want to see the new watch, this watch here is pretty interesting actually. Everything's controlled. I want to see if I can find that is. So see the little circle right. 23 steps really. And then this is one of the screens when you try to go into messages. So messages. Hit music. There's the heart. There's the sports. Messages, music, mode, sleep, uh, temperature, looking for a phone, reset. And then Fit Pro is what it's called. And then this is one of the mean screens to the watch. Okay, let's see if... I don't know what happened. Why was it now? Maybe it has to be on a road for a I don't know. Always fun. Look at this. This is the box like I showed you earlier. But... This must be the colors it comes in. Black, white, and pink. Alarm dog, alarm clock. Photo collection. All Facebook. Ignore calls. Steps. Twitter. Blood pressure. And WeChat. Twitter. Heart. Great. My life device, my life, my life, my life, my. But the thing is, the box doesn't say much on this one to pair to like the Apple Watch or anything. It doesn't even say how long the battery is supposed to last. It doesn't say a lot of things like. So, smart bracelet, your health, where, and then doesn't say like battery life for the watch. It doesn't even say anything on the top. That's what makes me think it was someone that maybe made it like in China for maybe for maybe a one-time gig or something like that or whatever uh but it was something simple that i think they did and it was something like i say i think they did it mostly to because they couldn't afford an apple watch or something and maybe in china it was cheaper to maybe build their own style of a watch for fitness tracking because as you can tell the apple watch is taking a long time for them to build from all these features Cause you get two buttons on the Apple Watch. Two buttons on the side. One right there, and one right here. And that's a button as well, but it's also a dial. So us for squirrels. But even on the actual watch, it's a dial and does a couple other things. Um, like I say, I think it was a style watch. That I almost don't think was almost necessary. Uh, but yeah, I do want to try one thing, and that is the sleep monitoring thing. I don't think anything on this watch is maybe meant for the phone so much. I think it's mostly made so if you can't even use it to your smartphone. I almost think it'd work better with an Android phone than I do iPhone. 
because I don't have an iPhone or Android phone. Because I don't have an Android phone, I'm gonna say I am gonna rate it a five. Because I think it does everything it's supposed to do. It's just not. I just don't know if it's sending it over to the iPhone so much. And I know that it's probably doing its best. So I'm giving it a five because mobility for everything else, it's working okay. It's doing everything okay. It's just, I don't know if it's actually as good as the Apple Watch. So if you're here in Canada or somewhere that you're able to buy an Apple Watch, maybe even, um, I want you to know I would go out and if you can afford an Apple Watch instead of buying a knockoff Fitbit or something like that, go and buy yourself an Apple Watch. Don't spend the money and just be a cheap um, person or cheap, yeah, cheap person and buy the cheapest thing you can get. Don't buy the cheapest thing. Because, I'm going to say right now, this watch is not worth the money. This watch is not worth the money. So, even if you do not, especially if you're going to buy something this cheap, you might as well of I give it to my dad, but I'm not going to give it any hopes because he has an Android phone. It might actually work better for him. Let's see, anyway, um, if not, whatever, it did its job, it did everything, but I'm still giving the Apple Watch 100% a 5, a 10 stars for this one. Actually, let's give the Apple Watch a 50. Let's give it a 50 percent instead this one i'm giving because it's a knockoff version i am going to give this watch someone bought it because i will tell you why and this is why when i got the mystery box i was like let's do uh when i did the mystery box purchase on amazon i was like i know i'm gonna get something that's probably not gonna work great but I knew one thing, and I'd get one good thing out of it. And I'll tell you what that is. I'll get one good video of it, whether it works or not. So, it may not be the best item, but it also doesn't have the best charger either. Um, I kind of like the charger because you can almost plug it into any USB, but that's it. Um, that's the only good thing about it. Um, at least, uh, if you have a USB port somewhere in your house, or maybe you have, say, maybe a computer, or even a tablet, or something like that. But then, you have this weird looking, uh, all these Fitbits and stuff, I would say, I like its band, uh, everything, that's the one thing that is not cheap at all, because it's almost the same material as the Apple Watch band, it's almost the same, it's pretty close to the same material anyway, it's pretty close enough to me, um, the only thing is, I'm giving it to one person and... Right away when I got it out of the box, I'm like, the there's a couple things that disappoints me, and I'll tell you right now, that is the charger. The charger's one thing, because I was looking around, I wasn't even thinking of the USB. I watched a video just to figure out how to charge the DM watch. So here, I'm trying to figure this out. And I'm liking another thing, and that is, at least, it was not a total, uh, all these fakes for Apple Watches and different style watches. All I like that it's one thing is, at least with the watch, I think it's more, okay, 
it got the Fitbit look. It got the Fitbit style look of Apple Watch. More, uh, the. It could have been durable more. It could. The sensors need some work. There's some other things that need some work on this watch as well. Um, like, I'll show you. The number one thing is, I thought, maybe I had to put a regular battery in it. So I was looking around when I first got it. I was trying to figure out how the back comes off when I first got it. Because I'm like, maybe it just uses the Apple Watch charger. Because if you look at it, yeah, if you look at it, you would think, uh, maybe it uses an Apple Watch charger. Um, maybe it uses, what else could it use? Maybe it uses a regular watch battery or something. I'm looking around here, I'm looking around and looking around. I'm like, maybe it needs a battery. I didn't even think that there was even a home button. I just thought, maybe it just needs a charge. And it'll turn on. Because I can't get it to turn on. And then I see the picture on the screen. So I'm here looking. I think the only thing that works the best on it, and if I'm going to give it anything, uh, I don't think it's so much the steps. I think it's the heart monitor. And that's pretty well it. Because the heart monitor was pretty close to my... The heart monitor was pretty close to my actual heart rate. So I'm going to give that a 6. Together with everything that I said on saying uh so together with the watch and the charger I'm getting a, at least a six because it at least operates well, it at least does everything well. It doesn't say really it's connected to your phone well. Uh it says steps, but I think it's just counting everything that's maybe like I was walking around this and then it won't even it won't even send anything to my phone properly. I have not got any information sent to my phone from it. There's only one thing I'm getting through the app and I'm thinking that is I can't even remember what that was. But yeah, like I say everything I got that was the heart rate, like I said, and nothing else is working through the app on my phone. But, like I said earlier, I think it had a pretty good starting, um, I think it starts and works properly with maybe an Android phone, like I was saying earlier, I think it would work better if... It was connected to me via Android phone. Uh, I don't think it'll so much work with iPhone. Maybe I think it's too, maybe either underpowered or it's not the right software, but it says it will work with iPhone. But hey, you can kind of see in some spots, it almost was just crafted overnight in maybe someone's garage or something. But yeah, there's some information on it that I was wondering about. And I would give it a f six, like I said, together with the heart rate. And the the way it works, I would at least give it an a six. And because it operates okay, I'm giving it a five. But together, I'm giving it a six because it's so one number up because... There is a couple things I'm liking about it. I like that it operates okay. I had it working okay, but then since I set it up, it connected to my phone. But I don't know if it's so much connecting to my phone is the issue. I think it's more working with, uh, what you call, sending the information from here to the phone. And... So, if it's not going to send the information properly, uh, that's one I'm not liking too much. Because, as you see, one minute it says, I got steps. 
Thanks, man, and deletes my steps. So, that's all right. But I give it a five because it operates okay. Because the last one I interviewed, or the last watch I had that was just okay, was I had a watch before and it, I couldn't even use the damn thing because it would ask for a SIM card. It asked me to do this, this, and this. I even had to put in the battery in the last one. And I had to add a few things to it um, because it was not a good watch. The first one I ever, I owned a knockoff brand before and it was not a very good one. I ordered one that had a camera on it. It was, that one was all right, but I didn't like the watch. And I don't even know if I ever posted the video, but if I did, I did. If I did, I don't remember, did I actually film that one? But this one has uh, everything I'd want, but it's not sending. Like, I don't think it so much works with iPhone. So if it doesn't want to work with iPhone, that's one I'm not blaming on the watch. I'm blaming it more on the people that made it. Because it's also not letting me switch the time from military time to uh, Toronto time zone, at least. It's also not letting me do a couple other things. Like, even go at, like, there's not even really a settings menu. Oh, that's another thing I don't like. It says there's a sports menu, but I think it's mostly just a digital watch. Well, it's meant to look like a fitness pro tracker. So I think there's a lot of better. I think if you were to get this, a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or an Android Watch, I would recommend either an Android Watch or a Fitbit or a Fitbit or an Apple Watch because I don't know so much on Android watches. I just know. More, if you're gonna get a, a Fitbit or something like that, I would recommend you get an actual Fitbit. Or, uh, if you want to get a cheap watch, at least get a Fitbit, the cheapest Fitbit you can get, because they're good watches too. But, like I say, I would recommend a Fitbit over one of these pieces of crap. Because I would recommend, if you're gonna rely on this thing, because I think this thing's just. Like I say now, um, I think it's designed okay, but I think it's mostly out of a 3D printer, and someone just put, uh, like, just jammed all, like, someone just jammed everything in here, because there, uh, so either it is a touchscreen, or the watch actually works okay, it's just not working with any of the stuff that's in here okay so i don't know if you're gonna get a watch i'd recommend fitbit if you're gonna go as the cheap watch but if you're gonna go as the expensive watch get an android watch like i said get an android watch because you're not gonna regret an android watch or an apple watch but you're gonna regret if you spend ten dollars on this and it doesn't work I don't want you to spend money on something that doesn't work if you're trying to actually get a expensive watch. Um, buy what you're actually trying to buy. Don't buy a piece of junk. Just technically, that's what this is. Especially if it doesn't work with iPhone or Android. Because I don't know if this works with Android yet. Uh, when I asked my dad, because he was up and up for the... To at least try it out and see for me on a couple things. Uh, but yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, so, so there's three things. Like I said, there's a few things about the box I did not like. A few things about this I did not like. And a few things I did not like. Like I said, about the back of the watch. Get a display. They could have used more of a display. Um, but yeah, uh, cause, or move the button up here, move the button to the top more, uh, because I'll tell you, 
they would have put the button up here more. You know, and it actually had a better room for the button than down here. Because down here, they're losing a lot of space. So if you wanted to, to say, so someone could actually, I would say, they could actually spend money on a uh, Apple Watch or an Android Samsung Galaxy. Or go and buy a Garmin if you really like them. Those are another good one for exercise anyway. Those are the three, the four brands I would recommend. Fitbit or Garmin or go buy a Samsung Galaxy or Apple Watch. But I would really recommend if you have a, a, a Apple Watch or an iPhone or maybe even a Samsung Galaxy, go buy a Samsung Galaxy Watch uh, or Sam. Or at least a Galaxy Watch, uh, or go buy the Galaxy Watch, it's whatever, whatever you like, but make sure if you have a, but if you have an Apple, a uh, iPhone, make sure you don't buy a Galaxy Watch. So right now I'm just been, well, about that watch thingy I bought, well, I'm gonna show you some stuff, cause that is pretty cool itself, and I think you guys will like it more once. Um, uh, well, I don't think you'll like to know about it because I don't think you guys should buy it. If you're ever going to buy a watch or anything like that, don't ever buy it because I'm going to tell you right now that it's not a very good watch. So, like I said, this here watch here, the smart bracelet, hell, your health bracelet, I would not buy it. It's not a very good brand. Um, the only good thing about it was the bracelet part, and that is because it's almost very similar with the watch band part. Is the Apple Watch band? After that, it's not very good. So yeah, if you're gonna buy something, just go buy. It. Like I said, go buy a real Apple Watch. Because it does not on that box. I'm very disappointed with the box itself. Let alone anything 